we began our involvement with the building in, in 1961 when my grandfather Lawrence Ween, my father Peter Malkin, and Harry Helmsley bought the building. So our experience uh, started a year before I was born. It's an incredible burden and joy to work with. We're in the midst of a $500 million upgrade to the property that includes uh, renovating all common areas, uh, mechanical and electrical system upgrades, so virtually complete building-wide upgrade program. We have to prove it's good economics. And the process actually started in May 2007 at the Clinton C40 Cities launch. Early on, we had a large brainstorming session in which we came up with over 70 potential energy efficiency measures for the project. In this case, it was an iterative approach. We would get some information together, we would share it amongst ourselves, come back, we would have debates. Usually you give, hey, this has worked for me in some other places. You zero in on those things. But we actually challenged ourselves to look at other things that we don't normally do. We tested close to 70 ECMs, energy conservation measures, by modeling them against the energy consumption profile. And we only chose eight. Together, those eight energy conservation measures deployed in the building and in tenant spaces as we refit the building for new tenants made the difference. 38.4% savings. Historically, we've taken a look at windows and we say, oh, they have a 20-year payback. There's no way it's going to work. When you look at the size of the building and how many windows there are, it's a huge percent of the facade. I think everybody said, what? And then after we all looked at it, one by one, we all became believers and now we're going to do it. We're actually taking down 6,500 windows, refurbishing them, making them more energy efficient. By changing the building envelope insulation, both through the windows and against the walls themselves, it lowers both the heat and cold loads on the building. The way we as engineers like to look at it is what we call interactive effects. When we think about, well, the windows are going to do some good, well, yeah, they'll save energy, but more importantly, they'll make our system smaller. Our heating system is smaller. Our cooling system is smaller. That optimization is much different than just what's the energy savings from a better window. Integrated design was really important because it forced us to look not only at energy savings, but also at capital cost savings. If we had just looked at projects in isolation, we would not have come to that conclusion. I'll give you a sense of the impact. As part of our program, we thought we're going to have to retrofit and upgrade the cooling of the building. We're going to have to add capacity. We actually have overcapacity in our cooling because we've reduced the heat load and we're managing the heat load better. So there's massive innovation here by looking at an integrated approach. In a multi-tenant building, you have to think about the people who are going to live in the building. So one of the really exciting parts of the Empire State Building is the fact that the owner has decided to do some pre-builds that demonstrate that you can marry energy efficiency with ambiance. It's a way to very concretely convince uh, tenants that they can reduce their carbon footprint, reduce their energy, water, heating needs, and at the same time have a very unique and interesting space. We're going to be delivering the exact same work environment, in fact, perhaps a healthier, better work environment for far less energy consumption. And particularly in doing the project as part of a total comprehensive upgrade to the building at any rate, three-year payback.